you for joining meteorologist Mark Muldar here with the host of your weather show, Weather Northeastern. Just to let all of you know, you're all probably waiting for my winter weather outlook, and that will be momentarily, probably in the next week or so. I'm getting that together. And there are a few surprises and curveballs that are going to be thrown at us this winter. And one of those could be La Nina. So we're going to get into the particulars on the winter weather outlook. I am working on that, and I promise you it will be out within the next week. Let's start off with the factors affecting our weather. The tropical update. Yes, we're still dealing with tropics here. Here in the central and southern Caribbean here, down in Latin and Central America, we're dealing with a lot of convection. This is Invest 93. And what I'm thinking here is this system will probably start to really slowly integrate onto the north. The NHC puts the system at about a 50% chance of development. I think once it gets away from Central America here, it will have a much better chance of developing. But once it begins to slowly pinwheel its way north, places like Cuba, maybe South Florida in the Bahamas will probably have to start watching this, especially after the weekend here as the system slowly turns. As I said, the model consensus is not very good right now, but as most of them have started to come in on a rough solution here towards the north, northeast, and eventually the northeast as the westerlies take over here to the north. But nevertheless, the system will continue to battle land influences here. Here are the factors affecting the tropics here. We have some subtropical ridges. We do have a trough that will be developing along the U.S. East Coast here, and that will play a role in picking this system up instead of bringing it up into the Gulf of Mexico more towards the northeast. So that being said, the system, once it gets away from Central America here, will have a much better opportunity to develop here since it will be getting away from those land influences right, right now. It's really being, there's a, some slight wind shear as well. It'll slowly get away from some of that as it heads towards Cuba. So that being said, we're going to have to watch Invest 93. Let's get right into the particulars of the forecast, starting off with your precipitation totals across the United States, Canada, and Mexico here. Take a look at this. Pretty much void out west. That's not good for the wildfire situation back east here. Take a look at this. You notice here in South Florida, that will be associated with potentially Invest 93. And of course, up towards Maine with that stalled out front. You could see upwards of three to six, maybe seven, eight inches here in down East Maine. Not very good news. Flooding problems in South Florida as well, seven to eight inches likely. Here in the Ohio Valley, Allegheny Valley, Susquehanna Valley, Mid-Atlantic, this will be associated more on Sunday to ruin the latter half of your weekend. Let's get right into the forecast, starting off with your pattern, ridge out west, trough developing here in the east. So unsettled conditions will prevail. And I wanted to take you towards a fall foliage map of the Northeast, something I have not shown you yet. Finally starting to fill in here, overcoming some of that fungi on the maple trees here in New York, Pennsylvania, parts of New Jersey, and Western New England. Starting to get towards peak and even getting past peak here in Northern New England, but still get out there and enjoy it. It's been a very slow turning season with all of the warm weather and warm nights. We're finally getting some color here across the Northeast. Starting off with your Wednesday, the midpoint of the week here. Look at this. Temperatures cooling off here across the Great Lakes and Northeast, holding on to some rainfall here. Unfortunately, we're going to be socked in here. Places like Portland, Boston, Worcester, down towards Cape Cod, Nantucket here. Probably another two to three inches likely as this frontal boundary stalls, breaking out the sunshine, especially from the Hudson Valley on westward here into your Thursday. Look at this. It looks pretty much like the same map as Wednesday here. Stalled frontal boundary with another two to three inches, especially across New Hampshire, Maine, and parts of extreme eastern Massachusetts. Looking inland here. Sun breaking out once again, getting up into the lower 60s this time into your Friday. Look at this. Looking much better as the system pulls away from the northeast. We'll have clearing and this sets us up good for a first part of the weekend into your Saturday. Brilliant sunshine. We do have a warm front that will be moving in. So there is a chance of a shower here around the Lake Erie and Warren, McKean, Potter, Erie County areas and northeast Ohio. 
places like London, Ontario as well, maybe even Buffalo and Niagara Falls. But for the most part, look at this. The first part of the day, we hold on to mostly sunny skies. Temperatures getting up into the lower 60s. So that being said, take a look at from Binghamton to Scranton, Sus upper Susquehanna region of Northeast Pennsylvania in the southern tier of New York. Look at this five day outlook. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We're looking mostly sunny each day. Temperatures, the theme, starting off in the upper 50s and finishing into the middle 60s here on Saturday. It's not until Sunday we get that cold front approaching from the west and temperatures will take a tumble along with rainfall increasing up to an inch possible. Don't forget to watch for my winter weather outlook being released shortly. That will do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.